Some questions were existential. What makes people truly happy? Is income inequality as dangerous as it seems? Would a diet high in omega-3 lead to world peace? People wanted to know the pros and cons of autonomous vehicles, breastfeeding, chemotherapy, estate taxes, fracking, lotteries, medicinal prayer, online dating, patent reform, rhino poaching, using an iron off the tee, and virtual currencies. One minute, we'd get an email asking us to solve the obesity epidemic. And then five minutes later, one urging us to wipe out famine right now. Readers seemed to think no riddle was too tricky, no problem too hard, that it couldn't be sorted out. It was as if we owned some proprietary tool, a Freakonomics forceps, one might imagine, that could be plunged into the body politic to extract some buried wisdom. If only that were true. The fact is that solving problems is hard. If a given problem still exists, you can bet that a lot of people have already come along and failed to solve it. Easy problems evaporate. It is the hard ones that linger. Furthermore, it takes a lot of time to track down, organize, and analyze the data to answer even one small question well. So rather than trying and probably failing to answer most of the questions sent our way, we wondered if it might be better to write a book that can teach anyone to think like a freak. What might that look like? Imagine you are a soccer player, a very fine one, and you've led your nation to the brink of a World Cup championship. All you must do now is make a single penalty kick. The odds are in your favor. Roughly 75% of penalty kicks at the elite level are successful. The crowd bellows as you place the ball on the chalked penalty mark. The goal is a mere 12 yards away. It is 8 yards across and 8 feet high. The goalkeeper stares you down. Once the ball rockets off your boot, it will travel toward him at 80 miles per hour. At such a speed, he can ill afford to wait and see where you'll kick the ball. He must take a guess and fling his body in that direction. If the keeper guesses wrong, your odds rise to about 90%. The best shot is a kick toward a corner of the goal with enough force that the keeper cannot make the save even if he guesses correctly. But Such a shot leaves little margin for error, a slight miss kick, and you'll miss the goal completely. So you may want to ease up a bit or aim slightly away from the corner, although that gives the keeper a better chance if he does guess correctly. You must also choose between the left corner and the right. If you are a right-footed kicker, as most players are, going left is your strong side. That translates to more power and accuracy. But, of course, the keeper knows this, too. And that's why keepers jump. 